Hashtag why in the morning at Brian Sakona one at Y254 channel. The first conversation is about the renaissance of Gen Z's that are taking over protest in this country by storm in their quest for justice and their rights to be heard. And I'm being joined live in the studio by two powerful gents. One of them, he's been a common uh, visitor right here. He's like Y254 is home for him. And along, um, alongside his counterpart as well, that is Tony Rotich. He's a political expert. He is right here to also give him insights alongside Darren Hart, who is a youth leader. Karibuni San, and I want us to exactly delve into it deeply without saying anything else. For the better part of what happened uh, this week, let me start with you, Darren. What have you observed and what exactly is going on from your own understanding? Thank you so much for having us today. And uh, what I've ob observed for the last few weeks, I've observed that uh, the young people have awakened. And the continent of Africa has now a positive energy. It has started from Kenya, and I know other countries, Tanzania, uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Egypt, all of them are going to pick the spirit because the future belongs to the young generation. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, on, in my point is that uh, this is a awakened call to the government mm -hmm. that uh, the young generation have realized what is theirs. Yes. Number two, this is a awakened uh, government that the young generation is learning. They know what you're doing. Yeah. They are telling members of parliament now, we know everything. You cannot lie to us anymore. We want what is ours and we want uh, equitability in the government. Yes. That's the only thing we want. We, 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 do, we are not demonstrating because we lack something to do. Mm -hmm. But we are just demonstrating to tell them that we want what is ours. We want yes. you to, to do the right thing. You know, when you tax me and you are not using that taxation or taxing me very well, then it's like you're wasting the money. So no need for you to waste the money. The only honorable thing you can do is that you can resign as members of parliament and leave, and leave, leave the government now to us. We show you how, how things should be done. Mm. Yeah, that's what I can, that's my take. All right, um, from the anger and the outrage that we've experienced, uh, from the feedback and then what also critics are saying online, they're saying that it's not because of this finance bill, it's because of the previous, you know, aggression and oppression even from other regimes as well that have even, you know, contributed to the build up and culmination of this massive outrage from young people. It's like, for over the years, our parents have been enduring this. But now that this bill has some clauses in it that directly affect us, we're not going to let you have it easy. So we have to stand and give our voices and young people are not relenting. And uh, there's, a, there's an outline here, the, uh, I know you guys have seen it, Seven Days of Rage. They're saying on, uh, Saturday, it, 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 it actually picked up from this other week. So on Saturday, there was a midnight uh, um, vigil in bars and where Gen Z's had free, were frequenting to you know, stop music at midnight to listen to national you know, anthems, chanting, Ruto must go, reject the finance bill. I, uh, I, it was also included in churches as well. And on Monday today, they're going to make a courtesy call on members of parliament who you know, uh, voted for the finance bill in the last week's hearing. They're going to frequent their offices and their constituencies to tell them that and delay heavy heavy and boycott businesses of these uh, traitors and ostracize them for betraying 54 million Kenyans. Do you think this is going to be a successful move, especially for today? Because this is on these seven days of rage, this is what the youth are saying. Before I get to you, Darren. Okay, this, 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 this movement eh, is a non-political movement. You should know that. Uh, it's not sponsored movement. It's a tribeless movement. This is, uh, this is youth, people who knows what they want. And, uh, and I do believe when, when we put aside our tribal, our religion, and our political affiliations, mm -hmm. we're going to make things serious. If you see right now, even the president has accepted that this, these uh, agencies are the young men and women mm -hmm. who are tribeless, who are politicalless. So this thing will work. <laughs> yeah. This thing will work. In fact, even the Kenya Kwanzaa government has now retreated back. Mm -hmm. and realize that these people are seeing the reality. The mm -hmm. only thing these people should do is just to listen to us, mm -hmm. focus on us. Yeah. Uh, this finance bill, let me tell you one thing. This finance bill, we are not demonstrating because we don't know what we are demonstrating of. Mm -hmm. In fact, right now, they have, they have, they have imposed 1.5% tax mm -hmm. on online jobs. You know, mm -hmm. Online, you watch your TikTok, 
Yeah. So they, they have to pay 1.5. And those are the young men and women who don't have a job. They mm. are working for themselves. You buy your own data. You, maybe you have your own Wi-Fi. You make your own uh, uh, online job. Nobody, is, no, nobody employed you. Mm. So the, we are demonstrating because we know what we want. Yeah. And I can promise you this will be successful. All right. Yeah. For today. Uh, Darren? Oh, thank you very much. And so as even as we continue to discuss, you know, what comes in my mind is uh, what made the young people to really see that now it cannot go on mm -hmm. is when uh, we've never had such a budget, such a bill for four trillion budget. And you find that uh, whatever is inside it is what uh, like uh, makes our anger to go high in that you find that uh, things to do with the office of the first lady, which is unconstitutional. Office of the deputy um, uh, first lady is unconstitutional. Office of the spouses of governors is unconstitutional. Uh, CAS offices is unconstitutional. The prime minister's uh, office is unconstitutional. Prime you cabinet. Cabinet, yes. So you find that uh, those monies mm -hmm. and the, w the way they want to tax us, the young people, uh -huh. and this generation is the most learned and it's mm -hmm. the most unemployed. Mm -hmm. That is what makes us to think that ha why did we fight for independence? Are we still yeah. colonized? Right. And so that is what is informing the, the demonstration and all. Mm -hmm. And so for me, in fact, I should term that uh, bill as uh, very evil, immoral, mm -hmm unconstitutional, uh, mm -hmm. barbaric, belligerent, mm -hmm. obnoxious, and cantagras. Because mm -hmm. that is what is causing consternation, discomposure, and disconfisha among mm -hmm. the Gen Zs and the Kenyans at large. Mm -hmm. And so we are demonstrating to what is right, because this is our country, things yeah. to do with the land, land taxation and leasing the land. Yeah. You see, our forefathers fought for our independence, and the major item mm -hmm. was the land. So yes. we want to go back whereby even the small piece of land you'll have uh, at your rural area, you'll yeah. be paying the land rates. So mm -hmm. we are the Gen Zs and we've, we've read that uh, document. We've, yeah. we've seen that it's not focusing on what we really want. We are mm -hmm. most educated. Yeah. For you personally in that document, uh, what are some of the parts that angered you? That you'd say, when I read this clause and this subsection, I don't agree with it. And if you had the chance to petition, you definitely give voice. Number one, I've just mentioned about the offices that are unconstitu unconstitutional, mm -hmm. about the high taxation on fuel. Mm -hmm. Now they were taxing about eco, they have re re reduced it, uh, they have gone to fuel, increasing the monies. So you mm -hmm. find that the real things that are solution to our problems have not been touched. Mm -hmm. We as the Gen Zs, we are, see, we are saying we want to be a manufacturer's country. We want mm -hmm. industrialization. We want processing. We want to mm. process these things. We want to produce our food, to eat our food, and only export the finished products. Mm. But in our country, we are, ex we are importing 80% of the food we eat. Is that yeah. seriously? And mm. you find that it has, it has not been captured. Yeah. We are having investors. We have minerals. Our yeah. oil mm -hmm. is called Lato, Lato, Lato Investment Company that is taking over uh, our oil in Turkana. So we find things like those have not been captured. We don't need investors. We mm -hmm. are the investors. The government yeah. should invest in Kenyans to be the investors, to create mm -hmm. these jobs. The right. president should not go outside to look for jobs. Mm -hmm. We have jobs here. Right. Yes. All right. Uh, before, uh, part of what has uh, led to this massive fury is that before a bill is uh, passed in parliament, it goes through, uh, it's debated, of course, the speaker, has to uh, give the bill to the president who assents it. The bill is presented in a format called a villam, and that's where again where they seek uh, public participation. It's uh, provided for in under Article 10 of the, uh, the 2010 Kenya Constitution. So uh, what I believe has led to this massive outrage is what are the voices under public participation that they used to pass this bill? In as much as they're saying, you know, they used, because in this instant they're saying they used state, state agencies, so maybe government lobby groups and whatnot, but the voices of the local Mwananchi were not included. And then here we are, we are talking about a bill that has already been passed, okay? So do you feel like maybe lack of uh, voices, especially the interior voices, the local Mwananchi, and then now the Gen Zs now that are now aware of their rights is what has led to this culmination of 
outrage, demonstrations, and protests. What I can say is that uh, th those public uh, participation don't work because of how the perennial perpetrators of impu impunity have designed it. In mm. a way that even the member of parliament, they don't represent the people and that is their work. Mm. They are representing their own interest. And mm. we've, we've seen even the president on top of the car mm. warning the Kenya Kwanzaa uh, MPs mm. to vote against his bill. Mm. If you vote against, he wants to see you. So that is mm. the politics of blackmail. What mm. is the work of the parliament, member of parliament? is to represent the people. And mm. if them, they agree, they are in parliament, they, they want to support, what about the people they represent? That mm. is their job. Yeah. So the problem comes when we have politics of blackmail, mm -hmm. politics of corruption, mm -hmm. and the people who are the majority don't have a voice. Yeah. That is where the problem is. Uh, uh, Rotich, if your member of parliament voted yes or no, how is it going to affect you <coughs> as a Gen Z moving forward? Uh, you know, let me tell you one thing. Eh? What, what me I know personally, my member of parliament represents me in, in my community. But now, because uh, the 80% of my community is the young people, the 20% the elder, elderly people in my community, and mostly they, they don't understand. You know, these people eh, write a lot of English in this uh, finance bill. They confuse our parents, the elderly people. We, we do understand the level of education of our parents those days. Eh? Right now, we are educated. We are, we are able to read for them, explain to them, and we are, we are able to understand what this finance bill is talking about. When you, when you increase, like for, like for now, they have increased even the, the insurance cover of uh, uh, medical insurance cover. They have increased. They have increased 2.75 of, of uh, this electric buses, uh, petris, mm. or, or Yamagari, they've increased uh, electric bicycles, you know. Then, now you're telling people that we want to move from uh, uh, w using fuel to electric. Then, when we are trying to move to electric, you're taxing us also. Mm. And number two, these people are lying to us that they are taxing imported parts, diapers, onions, so that mm. the market in... in, in and those, those people will run away from the market. Now we use the locally. Me, I, I asked my member of parliament, if you tax uh, imported onions, how will, will a common mwanainzi, how will a common mwanainzi understand, how will you, how will you, will you explain this is from outside and this from, how will you differentiate onions from Kenya and outside? Mm. I was asking, <laughs> so these people are linked to us, we are taxing, so even right now, even our MPs, they use those parts from 1980s to now, but right now they are telling us they are using wrong materials to make it. Mm. Is that how to tell a Mwanaenze like a Gen Z that this mm. we, are, we, are, we are taxing these parts so that we can use ours because mm. these people are using wrong materials. Mm. And right now as we are speaking, we are still, they are still using those parts, the imported mm. one before they taxed this one. The mm. only thing these people should do yeah. is just to put money where it's supposed to be, put mm. then they, they like this of in an area of uh, onions irrigation we do irrigation we make our own we make our own onions potatoes then mm. the the price will be down so yeah. those people who are outside there who wants to import it the the currency their money will be valueless mm. the importation will not get ma market here in kenya so that yeah. they will move out like if you tax they will always increase and if they increase the market, we will not able as one to, mm. to know which onions, these expensive onions for 20 shillings or 10 bob one, mm. which one is from Kenya and which one is from out. Yeah. So what I want to tell these people, these are our members of parliament, mm. what you are doing is not right. Mm -hmm. uh, the Gen Z's have woken up. They know their rights. They know what they want. And also, I want to tell them, come 2027, we are the ones who will run that parliament. We are yeah. the ones. In fact, you, I want to thank the late Mse Mwai Kibaki. Mm. We are the, you, you see now the Gen Z's are the children of Mwai Kibaki. We are the students. Mm. We are now the elites of Mwai Kibaki because he gave us free education. Yeah. Guru Kenyatta took us to university. It's now high time for William Ruto to, to give us jobs. And mm. if, he's, he's going not, if he's not going to give us those jobs, yeah. then now we will, we will show them mm. we are the Gen Z's here. The message is reject, not amend. Uh, amendments, by the way, and petitions are provided for under Article 119 of the Kenya Constitution that allows you, again, it gives you mandate and voice as an citizen of this country to say that, you know what, we want subsections of this bill or this motion amended or 
finally we don't want it kabisa so do you feel like from what you've observed they're going to finally like do away with the bill or they're going to amend and make it favorable but from the body language and the messages we saw last week from the politicians that were addressing some of the platforms you know, it seems, it seems like everybody's moving to a certain corner. They, their sentiments are similar to what they're saying. The president said, you know, he's now aware what Gen Z's are doing. They're tribalist, just like you had mentioned in the beginning. And then he's now said that he's ready to have a conversation. But from their online outrages that we will have a conversation, but first do away with the bill. Don't amend it. Is it possible? You know, you know, Baswa, these people, if, if we say now let them amend this financial bill, eh? these people will amend it. Then when it comes to supplementary budget after three months, they will quash out everything and they impose their own things. So what you want is just delete it completely. Get rid of it, start new budget. Mm. Start new finance bill, mm. put interest of agencies inside, Put interest of money in. Right now, you are giving a first lady 650 million. For what? For what? First lady, 650 million. For only prayers. Yeah? Prayers are good. Okay, we, we, are, we are all Christians, but 650 yeah. million for what? You know, we have to ask ourselves 650 million for what? Mm. Those money can help uh, a lot of young people. Are uh, you reducing help mm. for young people in university? You are redu reducing important things. Health covers, mm. help. You are taxing uh, imported goods like mm. parts, mm. and now you are taking the, the same same money you are putting in wrong office and constitutional office. Mm. And number two, these members, these the the CSS, mm. they are w walking around with uh, a lot of money. You, you can find out a one member of parliament giving out twenty million from where. Mm. Do you know he earns hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand? Even in five years, he has been in parliament. He has not even managed to collect 20 million. But in one Sunday, he's giving out 20 million. Mm. So this country, uh, what we want to eradicate is uh, corruption. Yeah. Corruption is very high. Right. That's why even we are demonstrating. And we are not demonstrating because of finance bill. We are demonstrating mm. to wake these people up. That mm. what you have been doing is very wrong. This yeah. is our country. And if we will not wake up today, who right. will wake up for us? Mm. Our grandparents woke up for our parents. Our parents slept. Now we are waking up for our parents. We are taking the role of our grandparents. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Darren, from the oppression and aggression that has, you know, built up over the years, and the hashtag again is reject, not amend. Do you feel like that time is up and uh, the Gen Zs and millennials are now the ones who are going to take over? And now for this finance bill, that we're going to have the hearing for you tomorrow. Of course, it's going to be, is it going to be signed on Friday or on Thursday? Where the president is supposed to assent to it. So do you feel like it's going to be possible for the president to turn it down and say, you know what, I'm done. I've listened to you, Gen Z and millennials. It's now time for you to, you know, take space and I've listened to your cries and your protests. Let's finally do away with the finance bill. And then also, what is likely to happen if they pass this finance bill? Is it going to be the same? Ama things are going to shift to a different dimension. Okay, you know, Sakwa, when I think about our country, sometimes I'm, I'm very emotional. You see, we are living in a, in a society that is very, very repressive, oppressive, and predatory. This is a society of megalomaniacs, <laughs> people who don't have the interest of the common monainji at heart at all. Yeah. And it is the administrative failure. This yeah. government should accept that they have failed because all the signs, all the evidences of a failed state are here. Mm -hmm. Kenya now is like a dry grass that only needs a spark and the mm. fire will be up. But mm. we lack that statesman. We lack mm. that king of the jungle who can mm. control the fire should it happen. Yeah. Why do I say so? Mm -hmm. Because we cannot build an economy on, uh, on, uh, on loans. We, cannot, we can only build an economy on production, manufacturing, and industrialization. That's mm. how we can create jobs. I don't know what, why it is difficult for them to think about that. But instead, they opt to, to beg from our, our, our enemies. You know mm. the people from the West, how they divided us in 1884 in Lancaster House. Mm. Those are not our friends. We better even look at the East because they were our friends from Russia and China. They gave us weapons to help us chase those people out. So mm. when you see these people calling themselves IMF, 
they are not for the goodwill. They just want to give us a big debt, big mm. interest, so that we will continue uh, working, but we are not seeing the fruits of, the, uh, of, our, of, our, uh, of our sweat. Mm. For instance, in Nairobi, when you check Nairobi Stock Exchange, mm. you, you, you are most likely not to, to find any Kenyan entity or company that is uh, listed on top 10. Mm -hmm. You will find European countries, yeah. which reflects their efforts from European in African uh, continent. Mm -hmm. Equity was just started by Mwangi of Equity uh, in Muranga. Right now, it's owned by uh, Europe, European nation. So you find that we don't have something that can build our economy, ourselves. Mm -hmm. When we know the idea is start industrialization, mm -hmm. create jobs. Mm -hmm. When we get any mineral uh, on our land, don't call an investor to come and give our people jobs. Mm -hmm. Let that mineral be uh, something that can add value to mm -hmm. economy, to mm -hmm. employment, to yeah. grow the country. And mm -hmm. so what I can say about that tax is uh, taxing is not bad. Taxing is good, but you don't tax in the vacuum. You don't yeah. tax in the space. You mm -hmm. tax when in the production. Mm -hmm. We have seen, you know, when the president says that, oh, other countries are 30%, other countries are taxing like this. They are not just taxing. Mm -hmm. South Africa, they are, they are doing production. Nigeria yeah. is doing production. Egypt oh, yeah. is doing, is doing uh, production. We are seeing films here in Kenya. We are seeing films. Yeah. But what are we producing? Mm -hmm. so that we can uh, justify the taxation. Yeah. We cannot tax, uh, tax people from the space. Right. Empower the people, do production, mm -hmm. indus industrialization, manufacturing, then you can tax those people. Yeah. But if you tax in the air when you, you are having the debt, right. then you are making these people to be oppressed. Yes. And you know what? The Gen Zs, we have decided that all of us will mm -hmm. come out because yeah. God will punish both the oppressors and the oppressed equally. He mm -hmm. will punish the oppressors for oppressing the oppressed. Mm -hmm. He will punish the oppressed for accepting oppression. And mm -hmm. therefore, as Gen Z's and, uh, and awakened Kenyans, we are not going to just sit back and see our country derail derailing. We mm -hmm. are going to fight for our right. We are going to engage. Let mm -hmm. those members of parliament engage us. Yeah. They were just singing that, oh, these Gen Z's, even the member of parliament of Tika, Tika Town, Calling mm -hmm. us 19 to 20 years old, they don't know politics, yeah. they don't know what. And it's but interesting how you guys uh, managed to mark each and every leader who voted yes. They were marked, their phone number leaked. Yes. And the phone numbers that were leaked include even the president himself. Yes. So this is how serious uh, young people are about their quest for justice. Yes, it's very serious and we are not just marking them. We are marking even their children. Mm -hmm. They are showing jewelry, they are showing good cars, where they are yeah. going, even if it's abroad. When right. time comes, mm -hmm. we will follow. Mm -hmm. One by one, we will recover our resources and give yeah. to the poor uh, people, uh, our poor people. Uh, Darren, if they pass this bill, what's going to happen? That was the initial question. What is likely to happen that day? That day, you know, this is a revolution not only on the bill. Mm -hmm. You know, poverty of mind is as crippling as that of the stomach. Mm -hmm. People's inability to think and scrutinize ideas is sometimes mm -hmm. the only reason they suffer in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how do you define the foolishness of those who support this ambiguous bill mm -hmm. at the expense of the uh, suffering Kenyans? Right. And so those who voted yes, they mm -hmm. just simply told the Kenyans, go and eat your feces. And you mm -hmm. go on and you eat despicable. And mm -hmm. so if this bill passes, mm -hmm. we will not uh, stop our revolution. Yeah. Our revolution is about accountability, not only the bill. Right. It's now time has come mm -hmm. to make sure that all these leaders you see in government, we want them accountable. We want yeah. a transparent system. And do, we want, all, do we want them out of office or we want them to be accountable for their deeds and then we can now chase them out of office after they've been accountable? I want you to get this right. Mm -hmm. It's now time to get the wrong people and the right people to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. We don't care about this one is good, this one is bad. We want both the right, the wrong and mm -hmm. the right to do mm -hmm. the, right, the right thing. Yeah. Doing the right thing is transparency at the peak. Right. We want to see which money is allocated where, which company, who mm -hmm. owns this company, how much right. is it going there. Mm. This leader represents this constituency. 
Yeah. This is the CDF. How yeah. has it going to help the people? Because right. as I'm talking to you, there are so many students who are not going to school because yeah. the school fees has gone up. Right. When the constitution says free education, it should mm -hmm. be free to the university level. Yes. And when it is free to the university level, the government should know how many students are graduating every year, yes. how many job markets mm -hmm. we can link them through industrialization. Yeah. Right. And so what we are just saying is, it's mm -hmm. an awakening moment, not mm -hmm. only on the bill, but every other thing. Right. We want to know. Even that debt we are talking about every day, we have a debt, we, have a, we want the audit now. The mm -hmm. Gen Z's and the awakening Kenyans, right. we want the full detail right. to show us we borrowed here, we mm -hmm. did this project. Mm -hmm. We borrowed here, this project collapsed because of this scandal. Mm -hmm. And this scandal, these and these and these were in office. We want to follow our resources yes. to bring back the money they stole. We pay. Give then us we receipts. With them. In short, give us receipts of the whole transaction. Uh, give us the receipts of all the transactions. Mm -hmm. And those who went with the money, we, we, we retract the money. Yes. So that's what we are calling for. It's not right. only the bill, yeah. but mm -hmm. accountability mm -hmm. and transparency. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, let me jump on to you, Rotich. The president and uh, the majority leader yesterday in the address, uh, they said they are going to have a conversation with uh, millennials and Gen Zs. And then uh, initially, um, majority leader, Kimani Chungwa, he had said something else. He said, you know, young people are living a lavish life. They come to demonstrations with Oba. They're recording everything with an iPhone. And after that, they retreat to KFCs to eat Minofu, right? So is this conversation that the president is uh, preempting going to happen? And is it going to calm down this anger and outrage that we're experiencing in the country right now? You know, when, you know, when Ayana wants to eat his children, huh? he always smells like they are coats. So these people now are worried. In fact, do you know that uh, the agencies uh, send messages to uh, the Pisho uh, at Nyaururu, or it was mm -hmm. like Kibia? Yes, it was in Nyaururu. Do you know that no, even one single MP was allowed to speak? It was only the deputy president to welcome the president. Mm -hmm. So that was a awakening call, that you will not speak. In fact, mm -hmm. even after, the, after that church, the mm -hmm. president used to uh, uh, meet people in town, They'll tell them this project, address, road address side, them towards the road. Sellers, but yeah. yesterday was something wrong. In fact, the president finished all the way to state house. So mm -hmm. that's a call that tells you that these people are not joking. These people are very serious people. Number two, these people want to sugar get us. They want to give us sweet things. You are good. You know what's good for your country so that we can cool down. They pass their own things. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. And in fact, let me tell you one thing. Right now, they have increased 300 billion in taxation from the previous collection. How will you, how will you tell, how will you tell a woman who is lactating that your child is, uh, is she doesn't have uh, uh, cages eh? and you are not feeding? The only thing this government should feed us, give us projects, uh, make us roads, grow our economy, then you come and collect. You are collecting yeah. something from empty stomach. Mm -hmm. In fact, right now you want to collect something from a woman from Kibra. Mm -hmm. He has waken up, no job, no hassle, but you want to tax. You want to tax me because I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, you know some things this government is doing. You just wonder, are we, which country are we? Like, what are we doing? And, mm -hmm. and we have MPs, they're calling themselves doctors, professors, accountants. The only thing these people, in fact, even David D., I don't know what is work in the office of the president. Mm. And every morning, what are you advising the president? When you are going for that uh, business meeting or, or economic meeting, what are you uh, advising the president? Number mm. two, you are giving out, you are giving treasury about six, six billion or 600, for what? Treasury to do what with money? The treasury is uh, the one giving us money, then you are returning money to treasury for what? Yeah. You know this country, there is, there is a norm of, of people thinking that Kenyans are fools. In fact, the president once told us that we, we are lacking fools in this country. Now, the lacking fools are us. We know what we want. And we are telling the president, the only thing you can do, if the president is not flying, he's lying. You know? If he's not lying, he's flying. No day he has stood up and stand and said the right things. No day even he has a... Let me tell you one thing. This thing is not all about tribe, religion, or what. This thing is all about our country. This thing is all about what our leaders are passing for us. You cannot, right, in fact, imagine a leader who's being elected two years in office, owning a, uh, owning a mansion in Nairobi, having a house, what, uh, 100 million. 
Amepata wapi pesa? But is in that what we're used to? You know? No, it has been there. Let mm. me tell you, if you want to be rich, be a politician, be an MP or a governor. Mm. Moving around, with, in fact, even there is a governor who, is, who, who was charged with 2 billion. Hey, you, you ask yourself, 2 billion. Mm. Three quarter of, uh, of, a county, uh, of a county finance for a mm. year. Yeah. One governor, is go one person is going with, the, with, the, with all, all that money. Mm. CDF, these people are being given 120, right now they have pushed 138 million. But you find uh, some schools are not even tile. There is pathetic, no toilets. But the MBS yeah. more than 138 million. You ask mm. yourself, what are they doing with the money? Mm. Where did they get the money and how did they get the money? Obviously, mm. this money, let me tell you one thing. These people, they only make contracts for themselves, do business using our tax, doing their own businesses. In mm. fact, you have heard even the Sudi saying, why, why am I going to parliament? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any, anything to do in parliament. I'm yes. a businessman. So which means you are doing business using our money. We yes. send you to parliament to represent us, to make mm -hmm. laws for us. But now, in fact, this government should, should know we, we want to amend the law. If you want yeah. to be an MP, you should have only your national ID and good conduct. Yes. There is no need for them mm -hmm. because they are lying. Right. Let me get to you with this one. Um, the aftermath of the demonstration has led to a lot of responses from uh, state actors, and this includes uh, abductions. Uh, this morning, as I was just coming to work, I've seen breaking news headlines of activist Shadra Kip Kiprono, alias Shad Khalif, has been abducted in South B. I remember last week he was on JKL trying to give insight on how this uh, movement has totally been organized online and it's not sponsored. Uh, on the other side, there was as well a medic, uh, Dr. Austin Omondi, who had been abducted earlier, uh, that was as of yesterday, but he was finally released. Uh, we also had a blogger as well who was uh, released and he had been abducted, a uh, very, uh, very insightful blogger as well. So is this what the government is choosing as um, a, a weapon or as a means to you know, contain and subdue the youth who are very vocal. Because when you look at the people that have been abducted, most of them have voice, especially in the digital space. And it's not that they assembled young people in a group or at a setting and did everything. Everything happened online. Is it making the current government feel helpless? And so in their response, they're saying, you know what? When you become vocal, I will use my weapon. And my weapon will be, I'll abduct you. And after that, it will definitely tone down. Is this how they're going to silence you guys? Obvious, you know, the government is worried eh? because uh, they were not expecting a peaceful demonstration. In fact, they are surprised. In fact, when you see all media, they are saying that this is the only, this is the only demonstration in history of Kenya, which is peaceful. So the government is worried. So when we and we are, we 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 are we know these things they are doing. We have been into it from even the previous regimes, they used to abduct people. You do remember even they used, the last regime had abducted uh, this uh, Itumbi, you know? So we are, they, they are not going to kill our spirit. Mm -hmm. We are men in a mission. Yeah. And we have, to f we have to follow our vision. So we are not going to kill this dream. They are not going to, how, if you are abduct one person, you saw last Tuesday, last, it was on Tuesday, this is the last demonstration. The youths were more than even one thousand, more than three thousand. So if you abduct one, we increase to seven thousand. Abduct two, eight thousand. Abduct three, ten thousand. We are, in fact, even we are going to be more than fifty thousand in our streets. Yeah. Yesterday I was in a Twitter uh, for for this uh, uh, online Twitter and you know, for space, 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 mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. We were fifty thousand, fifty-six thousand. Yes, listening. Those mm -hmm. are Kenyans right. from abroad. In Kenya, in fact, even right now, we, we are texting our uh, uh, brothers and sisters who are in Western countries, mm -hmm. telling them, "Tell us, how do that government rule you? Yeah. The laws of your of that country? Give us. We want to make our country like those countries. When you tell us you want to grow economy like China, even us, we want to know how the policies of China works so that that economy grows. We want to bring those policies to Kenya." Right. Yeah. Uh, Darren, I want you to jump in on the Sam. Do you feel like uh, in bid to silence uh, young people's voice, these are some of the things the state is doing so that you feel threatened and uh, you have to be subdued and continue obeying the previous rules? Are they going to succeed? Okay, what I can say about that is uh, we are not going to lose the sight of a gazelle over a dashing squirrel. Mm -hmm. Look at the, uh, the leaders who are speaking at us, mm -hmm. like the MP for Tika, we have people who like uh, they are leaders, 
but they are chasing clout. I don't know who is uh, this lady called uh, Karenyamu, uh, Ichungua, Kimani. Those are people who can't even debate I and my friend here mm -hmm. if they come here because they are learned, yes, but they have agreed mm -hmm. to be intoxicated in the mind. Their mm -hmm. mind is like poisoned with something else. Because mm -hmm. this guy, when you see their, 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 their CV, there are people who have gone to school, but the mm -hmm. way they think and the way they speak in, uh, in public, you wonder if mm -hmm. this person even ever learned in high school. Because mm -hmm. with only the high school knowledge, you can't speak some things. Yeah. You can imagine two days you're speaking that these Gen Zs, they have nothing to offer. Then the third day you're saying, now you agree they, are, they have nothing to offer. Mm -hmm. Now you will consider them in the coming, uh, in the coming bill. So mm -hmm. do you mean that you want to pass this one and you think mm -hmm. we will just come down to wait for the next one? Uh, and then also still on that, the switch of personalities. Uh, the other day, Kimani Chungwa said something else. And now, yesterday, he's saying something else. And then on the other side, we saw his boss, that is the president, say something else. What does it tell you about the leaders we have in office and their personalities and their integrity? It, tell us, it tells us that uh, that is a true picture of the leaders we have. They don't know what they are doing. And if they know, it's like they are controlled. You know, mm -hmm. there is a meme going around about micro microchipped uh, leaders. Right. Some, I saw that. Something is like mm -hmm. uh, you, you are controlled by like a remote. Mm -hmm. And you see, we I, the problem is that they have not understood what we want as Gen Zs. Mm -hmm. we, are, we have gone to school, we have learned, we are the most technologically right. Mm -hmm. So if you want to tax cameras, you want yes. to tax where we are. You know, we don't want em employment. Mm. And I want to tell the president, we don't want employment. Don't go to countries asking for employment. Whoever mm. wants employment, they can get it online. They can, yeah. they can apply them. What mm. we want, make an environment where we can live and earn, conducive, have these jobs, conducive, conducive for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is how you can understand us. But yes. today you are saying this, uh, yesterday you are, you are saying this, it means you don't have a stand. And mm -hmm. a leader without, without a stand is a leader without a vision. A, yes. a leader without a vision is mm. like, a ship in the ocean without a compass. Mm -hmm. they, they will not know whether to sail to the north, right. south, east or west. Mm -hmm. They will just be there uh, move, moved by whatever mm -hmm. is going with the masses. Mm -hmm. And so the things to do with the ab abduction, you know mm -hmm. you can kill a revolutionary but you cannot kill the revolution itself. Mm -hmm. And so that is just one way of creating fear in us. But yeah. we are saying we will respond to them with the words of Mahatma Gandhi when he said that whatever is right is right. And whatever is wrong is wrong, regardless of who is doing it. Mm. On the basis of that, right. we, the Gen Zs and the Kenyans that have awakened, we mm. will make bold at every point and mm. tell whoever that is wrong, that mm. he is wrong or she is wrong. And mm. whoever is right, that he is right or she is right. To yes. make sure that mm. Kenya moves from where Kenya is today to mm. where we want Kenya to be. Right. Fantastic, I like that. Uh, when you look at this revolution that has, in fact, the hashtag is Occupy Parliament, and now it went from Occupy Nairobi to Mombasa to Eldred, all the counties. Everything else has happened online, and when you revisit that finance bill in the close, they are talking about the digital tax. They want to tax incomes that they've not created. And these are opportunity platforms like TikTok, where young people are earning, you know, X, people, young people are earning from that. YouTube, people are creating content and they're saying they want to tax that part, and I think that also contributed to the massive outrage from the online content creators community. Uh, when you come back to things like, um, you've mentioned cameras, but there's a place where they're, they're mentioning about unemployment tax. They're saying if you're 25 years of age and you're living with a person who has some sort of income, you'll be required to pay 300 Kenya shillings as tax for staying with that person because you'll be separately considered as a household. How is that to you and what did you understand by that? Okay, how I understood by that, it's not a bad idea. It's a good idea. But first, that person living with the uh, employed person, you as a government, you're not thinking about his future. That guy doesn't have a job because we are not manufacturing, we are not producing. You know, getting independence, we must first of all define what independence is. Independence is, one, a country that is, uh, has its sovereign power, a country that is able to formulate its laws, not the laws of the West or mm -hmm. the uh, outside world, a country that informs its education 
of the, few, uh, of the people, a country that is self-sustainable, whereby it, it does production, manufacturing, industrialization, and benefits on the minerals it has. Mm -hmm. that, that way, the country, it produces, it manufactures, and exports only yeah. the finished products. Mm -hmm. But what are we doing in our country? Yeah. We are not producing, but when we are producing, we are producing through an investor who has yeah. come from another country mm -hmm. to take our resources away. They go there, they have finished products, then they come back to our yeah. country to tax, to us, tax us as we buy the product. As we buy the, uh, the, the need. So <laughs> that is where we are going wrong. Yeah. And there are so many things that we don't like in the bill. Right. Things to do with the data protection. Yes. That okay. is an entity that is, uh, that is a multi-billion multi mm -hmm. business in the world. That matter to do with data, I think it's not a good thing because we know how the government works. Mm -hmm. Somebody will get access to our data and, and they will sell it to the highest bidder company anywhere in the world. Yes. And as you can see, the examples of leaders we have, they will not care. They will just sell the data so yeah. that they become enriched. Mm -hmm. But one message I have for them mm -hmm. is that leadership is not where to make money. We want leaders who will wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to that position to, make, to leave a mark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch lives, not mm -hmm. to derive pleasure on leadership at the expense of the op uh, oppressed people. We want leaders who will say, I want to leave a mark. I, wa I don't want to live opulence, lifestyle, extravagancy at the expense of the people who are suffering. Yes. That's what we want to see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Rotich, this is my final question to you because I'm told we have two minutes to go. <coughs> uh, for a leader who will have to come to office and contest and be accepted with Gen Zs and millennials in 2027 to be the president, what should they do starting today, Monday of 24th, if they will have to be accepted by Gen Zs and millennials to be the president in 2027? What should they do in one minute that I come okay, to you, Darren, as we go? One, you should be honest. That's the only thing they should be, be honest. Number two, we want, uh, we want to change the political norm of this country. Come 2027, we are not going to elect you because of a party. We don't want pa party, party, party slaves. We have seen the all of KK who 40 years they are party slaves. Nobody can reason for himself. No, nobody can pass laws for his people. They are slaves to the KK government. So come 2027, we'll vote. And in fact, the three quarter of the next parliament will be the youth. We, we are going now, we have a plan as youth. We are going now to crown. We see who is this young man and woman? Mm. Who is learned? Who knows what he's doing? We don't want those people for certificates, class two. They are coming to represent us, giving us nothing. Make, they, are not, they don't know even to make laws. You know, this parliament of, of ours, the people who are, who are running this parliament are few. In fact, they are, they are only 15 or 20, the learned ones. Few from uh, the law, few from Mount Kenya. Less, less people who are making laws for the, the whole house. So when now they put in finance bill, an MB will be tell, ah, you just to 40 years. Yeah. We have read it, it's all okay. Mm -hmm. Like my, my MB is now even, let me tell you, uh, and I'm not even ashamed, I know yeah. my MB has not even read in that new finance bill. Did he vote yes he, or no? He voted yes, obvious. Those are political mm -hmm. slaves. Um, mm -hmm. I pity for him, but uh, in fact, even he knows very well that yeah. he's going home. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going, what I want to say to Gen Z is my final. Uh -huh. Let's not relent. Right. Let's sort the own. Mm -hmm. Let the fire burning. Let's be peaceful as we used to be. Yes. Let's be the, the, the only revolution in this country, which is peaceful. Yes. And we want to tell the police. At the government, mm -hmm. don't harm us. Yeah. The, the young men in uniform are our mm -hmm. brothers. In fact, even we are fighting for them. They're yes. earning less money. Yes. Their life state is poor. In fact, mm -hmm. even I have a friend of mine. I yeah. send him something. He's, he's, in and KDF. he's, he's a police. He was oh, even he's in, an in AP or KDF. Kenya police. Oh, I'm Kenya not police. talking about KDF. Kenya is oh, a police. He's, he's in he's Nairobi. He was in demonstration. <laughs> After the demonstration, he told me, my brother, Tutakula Nini. Yeah. Yeah. He's hungry. You saw even the, the day they were in Pungoma, right. uh, uh, Mashujade. Yes. They were hungry. You know, mm. our police, in fact, and they're still complaining. They, that are complaining. they were not even so, given food. Yeah, so right I'm now. telling our yeah. police, we are not doing this revolution for us. 
Mm. You are our brother and sisters. When you are in leaf or off, you, yes. have, you are in civilian like me. But they have to obey their master anyways. No, no yeah. that's why I'm saying uh -huh. these people should not use the police. To, we are now peacefully. Yes. Why talk tears to us? We, don't, yes. we, we, we are in the streets. We are not uh -huh. obstructing anybody. We yes. are doing our own things. We are singing. In mm -hmm. fact, even we are sharing water with them. Mm. So we want them tomorrow. I even saw somebody say Jewish. Yeah. And so we want them Mariam, the we want, we want them <laughs> In fact, yeah. tomorrow we want yes. the police to be in the front, leading right. us, giving us direction. Mm -hmm. We go Bali anyway. We mm -hmm. say our things. We yeah. come back to town. We do our own things. If mm -hmm. time, we go home. Yes. Until the government listen. If it's going to be until 2027, yes. we will do it. So my final remarks is that mm -hmm. Jens is out there. Tomorrow, let's meet. Mm -hmm. Let's demonstrate peacefully. Mm -hmm. Let's do the right and build the government will awaken. Right. Yeah. Uh, Darren, those uh, abductions that were happening in between uh, during the demonstrations, they were hand picking out and they were saying these are policemen in civilian outfits that have been intentionally uh, planted there to identify rowdy and loud uh, youth who are demonstrations. They hand pick you, they take you to the police station, and they torture you, dog, and then they release you after. Uh, as, you, as we finish this conversation, Still, as you echo on the question, who will come to office in 2027? In, in, in regards to the conduct that should be there tomorrow, what should the police do? And how should the youth uh, conduct themselves uh, going, to, uh, going to the demonstrations tomorrow and the protest as well? And then finally, just your remarks to maybe any leader who has partially tuned in and maybe sneaked out. Okay, what I can say is, uh, sometimes I wonder, is the Kenya Kwanzaa in office or in power? Because mm. I feel like they are That's not... That's a good question. Office and power. Yes. Right. It's like they are mm. in office. Because mm -hmm. they are not the ones pulling the strings. The strings, mm. the forces is bigger and huge than we can imagine. It's not the people who are normal can uh, behave the way they are behaving. As if they are controlled by a remote. But nevertheless, this is what I can say. Mm. The police should do the right thing. The police are there to serve us because our taxes are the ones that pay them the salary. They are not supposed to kill us. They killed uh, one of us, Rex. Yes, Rex. And, uh, and Evans, yeah. The police, you are not meant to kill the citizens. You are meant to protect them. Mm -hmm. If they have gone against the law, just arrest them under the constitution we have. Mm -hmm. Take them to the court of law. They will be yes. charged. Don't torture mm -hmm. anybody. Even us, when we are coming out of this studio, don't follow us. Don't come with the <laughs> DCI to arrest us. We are just mm -hmm. youths. Mm -hmm. We are not uh, armed. I'm not, I don't have a gun. Uh, yeah. I'm not a huge person. But <laughs> when you try to engage me, I'm very strong. Yeah, let's engage with intellect. Uh, yes, so <laughs> the leaders we want yeah. in 2027, right. we want the leaders of integrity. Right. Because integrity is the software of mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. I always say, without which a leader yes. is nothing but a wild beast. That's yes. it. Yes. And so that's what we want. There's a, pr a proposition of our Gen Z Millennial Party. Is yes. it going to come to fruition? We don't want those things to... to, to we don't want to hear about registration of our, our Gen Z Party as per now. Mm -hmm. Because we have people who want to run away with the efforts we are doing to right. fight whatever is going on. Mm. So some people are very like, uh, they, they, they just want to pretend they want to, to register a party. Right. Uh, you know, when you register a party, mm. even the government will know where to go and buy those and people. And we don't want that. This yeah. is a free but revolution. Everybody is a leader as per now. So it's partyless. But, but as we go, it's partyless. Yes, right. But as we go on, yes. we are going to have structures that mm. will either inform forming a party or yeah. not. Because yes. things on the ground will determine what right. we want. Mm -hmm. And so in 2027, yeah. you know, it's very sad. Pe leaders are not working and they are planning for 2032. <laughs> People want to be president. Others want to be vice presidents. Mm. But we as the Gen Zs, we are going yes. to disappoint you. Right. You people, Gachagua, Rigiji, mm. uh, Kalonzo, Eugene Wamalwa, Wetangula, all those people. Stop, stop planning for 2032. We can mm. also plan and beat you. Yes. Because we are qualified. <laughs> I'm over 25 years. Yes. And we so have to go, Darren. Just take care. We have to because go. Because we can face you and take over. <laughs> yes, we have to go. Thank you so much, thank Darren you, Hart. Uh, he's a youth leader and Tony Rotich political expert. And we'd like to say uh, sentiments uh, expressed in these conversations do not reflect those of Y254 under KBC Channel 1 or me, Brian Sakwa, right? They are solely for our guest and thank you you guys for coming through for sharing your very powerful insights and i believe the message is home
All right, that's where we take a very short break. In just a bit, we are coming back with the next conversation on the hashtag Why in the Morning. Stick around. <laughs>